Assuming that we clear out the lines, the most entrancing star I perceive is the star that could stun our sky. It is this one, Scarab Juice or Scarab Pummel. It's a red, extremely gigantic star. Moreover, on the ambiguous chance that you put it where the sun is, it would loosen up to the circle of Jupiter. It's immense, totally erratic, and going to detonate. It's not quite as clear as it has all the earmarks of being in the universe. These Goliath events, like the generally nonsensically dreaded massive starbursts, could shake all that we see. Also, notwithstanding, do whatever it takes not to see its center. Creepy crawly juice has been viewed as a sign, a red, very gigantic star that is ordinarily more significant than our sun. Brian Cox and other space experts think it could go supernova, which has made people terrified about what will happen next. The James Webb Space Telescope is taking stunning photos of the star, raising the topic of when Betelgeuse will transform into a supernova and what titanic influence it will have on Earth. Let's sort out the star in the brilliant body of Orion that sparkles so brightly that, indeed, even people from some time in the past have seen it. The superb star, Creepy Crawly Juice, is arranged on the eastern shoulder of the star grouping Orion. It is the second largest star in the star gathering, and its name comes from this component, the beast shoulder. It is possibly one of the most splendid stars in the evening sky. On top of being very brilliant, the star is additionally an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, suggests trouble. We've had some colossal experience with insect juice for a surprisingly long time. A Greek spectator named TMY likewise centered around it. Around that time, the primary thing people saw about stars was their variety, and TMY said that it was a frogstool colored orange. In present day times, experts have been zeroing in on the star all the more enthusiastically, and presently they have a splendid idea of what works. One of these characteristics is that the star changes brilliance a great deal, with a reasonable magnitude of 0.6. Betelgeuse is a variable star, which implies that its brilliance changes over time. Recently, experts have found some new data about the star. In 2019, experts previously saw that creepy crawly juice was acting whimsically. Even though insect juice didn't totally quit sparkling, it wasn't the same. It had turned out to be significantly less splendid, sparkling at a degree of 1.6. Experts rapidly began to investigate why they were seeing the 10th most brilliant star act in this impulsive way. Specialists expected to offer an unexpected clarification, considering their research, which uncovered uncommon signs from the star. As indicated by their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any second. Brian Cox, a well-known researcher, shared this shockingly risky clarification as a recognized teacher of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Sea Cosmology. You shouldn't excuse his perspective as a joke. He likewise has a science show, writes famous science books, and is the Royal Society teacher for public engagement with science. Brian Cox says that Betelgeuse is, by all appearances, a ticking time bomb since it could go off without notice. To explain what is happening, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown an awe-inspiring measure of proof to back up this clarification. But what unconventional signs has Scarab Juice shown that have caused so much worry in space science? With the new data about Betelgeuse, the star has been named a supernova up in Comer. In spite of the fact that examiners are still uncertain when it will detonate, the reality that insect juice is two times the mass of the sun is one clarification for this grouping. A star, as it's been said, should be a couple of times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get truly fascinating, however, because experts have utilized various instruments to investigate scarab juice, for example, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to see what's going on in space around Betelgeuse. What they found is still a mystery. It was brought into the world on August 31st, quite a while ago. Around that time, the star, insect juice, obviously exhibited odd clues that made its future dubious. What did they find? Well, they could distinguish inquisitive light waves coming from the star, or from Betelgeuse, which is exceptionally inquisitive. Anyway, it wasn't the only thing specialists saw from the star. This brings us back to the possibility that Betelgeuse is a star whose splendor changes sometimes. It was said that disturbing Betelgeuse obscured down at regular intervals and had dim spots, similar to our sun today. However, 
the conditions are unique. It changes from brilliant to dim two times as fast as it used to, which is another marker. It has gotten back to an astonishing sign that experts tracked down. The star's darkening cycle had hit a band of magnitude 1.61 in February 2021. This was not long after the enormous obscuring event. Survey how the star appeared to blur in a strange way in 2019. That is, since it's now known as the exceptional obscuring, we could see that the mind-blowing obscuring was the beginning of Betelgeuse's strange behavior, which made many individuals stress that Betelgeuse planned to detonate. The scope of obscuring was 1.2 somewhere between 2019 and 2020, and the most decreased level of diminishing ever recorded was in 2019. So experts were sure that Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years, in perspective of the remarkable obscuring. There is a lot happening in the universe, so this is really astounding. Investigators immediately changed their viewpoints. However, when they saw what occurred next, insect juice got brighter again after the mind-blowing darkening, and it changed into something undeniably more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is presently 150% more brilliant than usual, making it the seventh most brilliant star. Experts were terrified when they saw a red gleam in the southern part of the sky. Today, it still gets even more intriguing, as this has prompted unique considerations about what caused the mind-blowing obscuring. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red gleam of Betelgeuse. The red gleam of Betelgeuse means that it's a red supergiant star, which is the last phase of a star's life and death. The red sparkle, on the other hand, is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the external layer of the sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our sun, it discharges less energy per unit of surface area. By the way, it is more monstrous and will explode. Now, Let's look at what the remarkable obscuring looked like. Brian Cox asks, does it really mean that Betelgeuse will go supernova? As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse has already shown that it is near the end of its life as a star. A star that is dying will, additionally, often debilitating over the long haul, which is something experts get anyway, Betelgeuse's new astonishing way of behaving has made specialists focus all the more strongly. Furthermore, Numerous telescopes are now zeroing in on the unprecedented obscuring. Still, things get significantly more interesting because specialists try not to have a huge understanding of Betelgeuse. Researchers are now utilizing the most cutting-edge devices to keep an eye on the captivating things occurring around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best instruments examiners have utilized up until this point. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped investigators gather a lot of huge data about Scarab Jew. The new photos of Betelgeuse's astounding obscuring taken by this telescope have shown that the event caused a colossal mass delivery. Based on new analysis, we now know that this mass launch was multiple times bigger than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also check things out our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. In this way, Researchers are excited about what the telescope will find. Researchers have seen dust mists forming on the star's surface that appear to look like leaves in space. That doesn't seem to make sense, but regardless of the reality that Betelgeuse will die, experts are still focusing on it since they don't know when it will go supernova. Scientists believe that Betelgeuse is much more gigantic than the sun and that the bright red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we look at the many unusual things occurring with the star, it's hard to say if this prediction will still be true after the extraordinary dimming. So, experts don't anticipate that Betelgeuse will detonate anytime soon. If Betelgeuse explodes, it will be the first supernova we see with our own eyes since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Specialists also don't think this should happen soon because they are still focusing on the star's unusual behavior. Not enduring the reality that Scarab Juice will make specialists certain when exactly it will happen stays confidential. On the off chance that we examine the universe without bias, very possibly one of the most enthralling stars, and perhaps the most astonishing in our sky, is Betelgeuse. This red giant star, when placed where the sun is, would expand to Jupiter's orbit. This astoundingly colossal star is on the edge of an impact. 
The universe doesn't work in such direct terms. Special, self-important events, like enormous explosion events, have the potential to completely alter our perspective. An event that may probably happen, anyway. While the chance of Betelgeuse going supernova looms, experts are still working to figure out the exact course of events for its end. As investigators continue to gather data from the most advanced space telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, they remain cautious about predicting any looming impact, notwithstanding the star's amazing way of behaving, including the bewildering dimming and lighting up cycles. There's no certainty about when scarab juice will finally reach the end of its life. Some speculate that it may still require a huge number of years before the star detonates, yet others believe it could happen much sooner, maybe within the next couple of years or even months. The excellent data gathered by these powerful telescopes, along with the star's unusual behavior, has kept specialists restless. They are cautiously monitoring what is happening, using every tool at their disposal to detect any subtle changes that could indicate a supernova is on the way. When Betelgeuse does finally explode, it will send shockwaves through the universe, releasing a gigantic amount of energy. The blast will briefly surpass the entire galaxy, visible even from Earth, as bright as the full moon. While this event will be a grand, vast display, it won't present an immediate danger to Earth, as the star is located over 600 light-years away. Anyway, the supernova will provide a critical opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of a massive star's life and the phenomena associated with such a violent event. Betelgeuse's looming end isn't just a scientific curiosity. It's a sign of the vastness and oddity of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse play an important role in the life cycle of galaxies, enriching the universe with the elements necessary for new stars, planets, and possibly life itself. The death of such a star isn't an end, but maybe a transformation, as it releases heavy elements that will eventually seed new stellar systems. In the meantime, researchers continue to observe Betelgeuse and its behavior, unraveling the mystery of its future with each new discovery. The mystery grows, and our understanding of the universe expands. Maybe soon we will witness one of the most rare events in the universe. Betelgeuse's transformation from a colossal red supergiant into a stunning supernova. Until then, the sky will remain a canvas of wonder, with Betelgeuse shining brightly, an image of the fleeting nature of life in the universe. As we continue to observe Betelgeuse, the mystery surrounding its fate deepens. Space researchers are particularly focused on the fact that this star is approaching the end of its life cycle and its unpredictable behavior. The fact that something is causing it to act so unusually is sparking great interest. It's important to note that supernovae are not the final stage for all stars. For example, smaller stars like our Sun will take their lives in a much quieter way, shedding their outer layers and leaving behind a white dwarf. Anyway, Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant, and that means that when it dies, it will go out with a spectacular bang, completely different from the gradual dimming of smaller stars. The sheer size of Betelgeuse makes it a fascinating subject for study, with a radius many times bigger than the Sun. If it were set at the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Mars. This gives you a sense of just how enormous it is compared to the Sun, which is already a giant by the standards of most stars. The size of Betelgeuse means that it has consumed vast amounts of fuel throughout its life. As it nears the end of its life, its core is rapidly collapsing under the force of gravity. This collapse is what ultimately triggers the violent explosion of a supernova. The process leading to the explosion of Betelgeuse is complex. As it nears supernova status, the core of the star begins to contract and heat up, while its outer layers expand and cool. This creates an unstable environment with occasional fluctuations in brightness. These changes in brightness, like the dimming event observed in 2019, are signs that the star is entering a period of rapid transformation. This dimming may be linked to a significant outflow of material from the star's surface, which temporarily obscures its light. Despite these fluctuations, Betelgeuse continues to emit light, though sporadically, making it a captivating object for study. The possibility that Betelgeuse might be a candidate for a nearby supernova has drawn the attention of space agencies and scientists worldwide. With current instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, 
researchers are gathering an abundance of data on the star. These telescopes allow us to observe Betelgeuse in frequencies that were previously out of reach, such as infrared and ultraviolet light, providing insights into the star's internal processes. Moreover, analysts are using advanced models to simulate the behavior of massive stars like Betelgeuse. These models help scientists predict the star's future behavior and estimate the timeline for when it will detonate. While the exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova remains uncertain, current data suggests that it could happen soon. Some predictions suggest that the explosion could occur within the next few years, while others speculate that it may take a few thousand years. Regardless of the timeline, Betelgeuse's impending end will undoubtedly be a milestone event in the study of stellar evolution. Even though the explosion of Betelgeuse won't pose an immediate threat to Earth, it will still provide scientists with a valuable opportunity to study the final moments of a massive star's life. By witnessing this event, astronomers will gain a deeper understanding of how massive stars die and what happens when they go supernova. The remnants of the explosion will provide new elements and materials that will enrich the interstellar medium, contributing to the formation of new stars and planets. In the end, Betelgeuse isn't just a star that's fading away. It's a giant clock ticking down to a tremendous event. As researchers continue to observe this giant of the night sky, we are reminded of the marvels of the universe and the fragile balance that governs the lives of stars. Whether today, tomorrow, or millennia from now, when Betelgeuse finally reaches the end of its life, it will leave behind a legacy that will shape the universe for billions of years to come.